Nigeria has a relatively free press by the standards of the region, but the hazards of the job have often been deadly, especially in a country where the media space is plagued by political interference. Reporters are routinely put under surveillance by Nigeria's secret service. In a recent incident, three journalists lost their lives in a car accident while traveling to cover a story. Television and radio stations in northern Nigeria operate in constant fear owing to threats from militant Islamist group Boko Haram. In 2012, Susa bombers attacked the offices of a media house in Abuja and Kaduna, killing at least four people. Incidents like these prompted the Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ, to launch an insurance scheme for its members to provide a benefit not many employers offer their staff in the West African country. So we just discovered that recently, the last few years, the journalists in the country uh, have been facing a lot of challenges, especially when it comes to the hazards of the profession. You see people, you are in your house, maybe with your wife or with your husband, and your immediate boy is calling you that man, you have to start going to Kano, where they have this uh, program, whatever, or you have to start going to Maduguri to go and cover. One, you don't know the terrain very well. You don't have any policy. The manager is not even bothered about that. Their own is just deliver. So when we discovered that there were a lot of reports about harassment from women, from uh, members who cover different assignments, you see people harassing them and down. They start to say, ah, all these things should stop. That the belief is that media, journalists are friends of the society. The NUJ has already paid for 200 journalists in Lagos, but there are 200 more that are making the payment for themselves, and the union says hundreds more across the country have expressed interest. Television journalist Obadioye, who has 13 years' experience in the media industry, says the NUJ brokered insurance is something long overdue. As a journalist that uh, covers election, I, I cover protest as well. But at the end of the day, most of them turn out to be violent. I would expect that uh, an insurance policy like the one that NUJ is uh, operating right now should be extended to an individual like myself. Radio journalist Tukumbo Ojekunle says the fact that many employers do not provide insurance as a benefit is something that has left many in the industry disgruntled and urge business owners to take care of their employees. When it comes to insurance, and it's coming from AUJ, it's credible as far as most of uh, the journalists are concerned. They would take it hook, line, and sink and believe that this is a good story this time around because they have lost colleagues. Recently, three people died. Um, the lady, Kafaya Todosi, who passed on during, during that last trip um, on, the, on the, I think, um, Mokoja Road, I think, she actually has children. And she's also the breadwinner. So they, are, they, 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 they can't walk past these things. It's becoming very pathetic. I think the emotions are swelling. And in Nigeria, when things begin to swell with emotions, there is a possibility that if care is not taken, it could explode to something more catastrophic. Nigeria is ranked 115 in the Reporters Without Borders 2013 Press Freedom Index, which uses criteria such as violence against journalists and legislation.